Hi everybody, Martin at Flicking Feathers again today. I'm doing another surface fly, bass fly, popper. Uh, the Zad Bubbler. As always, there will be materials listed in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for any that would like to support the channel, along with a link to social media and the Amazon links, etc. If anybody would be interested in using them to support the support me in that way. So very appreciate it. So basically I'm tying this exactly or nearly exactly as the original. Um, except I'm changing the hook. I'm using a, a B10S 2 Um I prefer this hook to the I think the original was a Daiichi uh, stinger hook just because there's some big snake head in Japan and uh, I don't want a soft or flexy hook that could bend out so I've got to tie in two sprigs of uh, 20 pound hard nylon for a double loop weed guard so that I can bring this for some heavy cover. Weed guard choice up to yourself. But I like this. Um, you know you might bounce a fish or two although I don't really think you do. But you definitely get takes that you would never be able to get anyway, so... I'm a big fan of the weed guard. And then just to... Keep that nice and secure and... Add a bit of durability, I'm just going to saturate the thread wraps with super glue. And then I'll come back over the top of them. You'll see I've not went all the way around the, the bend, I've stopped my thread here. Um, that point there. That lets, I think that's maybe one of the big things that make the weed guard better. It's not held all the way around here near the point of the hook, so it's able to be pushed out of the way by a fish a lot better than, than um, if you wrap all the way around. Tail is just marabou. Just got a bunch of marabou here. Tie that in, and that's like a hook length and a bit, maybe. It's up to yourself. How big do you want your popper to be? It's not a bad size, if you ask me. Uh, and then I'm going to take some rubber legs. Choice is yours, whatever kind you prefer. Just using barbed round rubber. Take two. Now one at a time, I'll fold them across my thread. Catch them in, fold it over, that's on my side, unwrap, same on the far side, and a couple of wraps, just to hold everything back. Then I'm going to take a long webby hackle or a slapping feather. And tie it in by the tip. And I'm tying it on with a good side facing me 
so that the fibres sort of curve back. Probably doesn't really matter. And I'm going to take a bit of sparkly dubbing. Ice dub's fine. Colour choice is entirely up to you. Then I'll check my head. That looks not bad. Let me tie back just a wee bit. And then I'll wind my hackle through the dubbing. Fairly close turns. a nice full turn at the front and I'm just going to wrap over all that rubbish because it just gives the, the glue and the popper head something else to sort of grip and I'll come right back to my dubbing get a dry check Quite like the look of that. Just maybe put a wee bit build slightly here just to make sure it sticks all the way along. quite quick finish. You don't need to worry about this coming unraveled because it's uh, super glued and then obviously protect it with the foam. Now I'm using a gel type super glue so as long as you keep it moving it will no stick. And then I'm just making sure everything's sitting nice and flat. That's well stuck. And then I'll start my thread at the front again. Now, make sure the loops of your dubbing, uh, your uh, weed guard. Make sure you've plenty of room and you're taking them from the correct side. You don't want to cross them over. I'm just going to take a few loose wraps. And from the front, I'm just making sure they're about the same length. Trim them the same. And then... I'll make sure they can still slip freely. I just need to see where I want them. a wee bit more then I'll push them up I'll pull them up I'll grab my lighter I'll just blob the ends of that nylon I'll 
let it cool and when it's hard you can put it down and it won't slip back I'll take another few wraps a couple of quick finishes and that should be quite a nice secure weed guard and it's not going to pull back the way now obviously you need to protect that so I'm just going to come in with some head cement you can use glue if you like but so uh, varnish is fine and then we're ready to add the body legs I know some people like to tie these with eyes but I don't think it matters much you can if you want So I'm getting two pairs of legs a red and black, an orange and black and an olive bar, green and orange, the same as before and then I'm going to pick my line Pull my leg, push my leg puller through diagonally. I'll put it back. That's the legs in. And then, same on this side. Just try to make sure you get it in the same place, same level. not quite there, don't come all the way, you'll see the foam start to bulge and then just adjust grab the other two legs put them through the hole of the needle pull them until they pop free The leg length, up to you really. Um, I mean, you don't, you, you've not cut it yet, so you can take a minute, have a look. Put a weird spot of super glue on the leg. Put them tight, slide them in, take away any of that glue. Because that will be it's fine, it's stuck inside the leg, and the stuff that's out here doesn't have super glue on it, so you don't need to worry about it making the leg brittle. Although rubber's usually no bad, it's, it's silicon that's the badly affected stuff. Same here, get a pull, we touch, pull them tight. Slide it back, let it grip. And they're more or less of the same length, I'll just tidy them up, although probably doesn't really matter. And then, same at the front. There you go, 
that's the Zud Bubbler. Really nice uh, bass fly. Plenty of commotion in the surface. The heads are really easy, you just cut them out of a... Well you can actually buy them, but you cut them out of a jigsaw mat. Um, I'll put an Amazon link to the jigsaw mats below and stuff. If, you, if you're interested in buying a couple to make you, one mat will do a million heads, you know, you can have poppers for life. So, I hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you tie some of these up and go and catch yourself a bass. Headlines guys, bye.